Hey, what is going on everybody? In this really quick video, I'm just gonna go through some of the Windows shortcuts that I use on the daily that you may or may not be aware of. Uh, just a few things to maybe increase your productivity because these are the ones that I probably use the most often. Now, obviously, this is not gonna be a be all end all guide of uh, keyboard shortcuts because there are millions on billions of them out there. Now, there's a shortcut for pretty much anything that you'd wanna do in any program that you wanna use. So. These are just kind of my top 10, we'll say. We'll say it's a top 10 list of shortcuts that I use on the daily. Some of them you're probably already aware of, and some of them you're probably not. So let's go ahead and dive in here with one that uh, everybody should probably already know, and that is Alt-Tab. Pretty much you hit Alt-Tab, it's going to switch between your windows. If you uh, hold down Alt and hit Tab, you can see all the windows that you have open and select which one you want to make the active window. Uh, this is a pretty... Uh, rookie keyboard shortcut. Everybody should definitely know it. And it's particularly useful if you have a full screen application open and you want to uh, just quickly kind of get out of there and go back to a window that you might have running in the background. Now the second one is going to be Windows key plus R and that opens up a run box. Now this is basically a one line command prompt. You can type in any command that you would typically do in command prompt in here. So if I want to do IP config, I hit that. If there's output with the command, it's not really gonna uh, bring anything up, but typically you would use this for something like, just type in CMD and it'll open a command prompt. You can shut down the computer from here with the shutdown slash ST0 command. You can open up uh, specific control panel areas like ncpa.cpl and you can bring up your network connections. So it's just kind of a shortcut area. And again, pretty much the only thing I use it for is either shutting the computer down or opening a command prompt. Now, along with opening a command prompt, a lot of times, especially if you work in IT, you're probably gonna wanna run it as administrator. So if we go to our start menu, type in CMD, hit enter, we've opened command prompt as the user, uh, which we are logged in as. To run as an administrator, a lot of times we right click it, run as administrator, and now we have our admin prompt and you can tell because we're in Windows System 32 as our directory but if we don't want to do any of that we can just go to the start menu type in CMD and then control shift enter and that automatically opens it as administrator so save yourself a little bit of time there now the next one is actually a Chrome only shortcut uh, this is for those sites that have a invalid certificate so say we want to go to our home router 10.88.13.13 Go there, oh, your connection's not private. Typically you have to hit advanced and proceed. Um, if you've used any of the newer MacBooks or things like that, you'll probably uh, know that this menu actually doesn't exist in there. It'll say that it couldn't negotiate it and there's really no way around it, except for that there is. If you just type in on your keyboard, this is unsafe, all in lowercase letters, it'll automatically bypass it. So not only did we not have to hit advanced and proceed with our mouse on this, but if we were using one of those computers that just has it outright blocked and no option to go around it, now we can just sneak straight past it. And one more while we're here in Chrome, uh, Control T if you want to open new tabs. That's another rookie one, but uh, definitely saves you some time. You know, I want to go to youtube.com and then I want to go to msn.com and then I want to go to hotmail.com and then I want to go to etc. I think you get the uh, the point there. Now back out of Chrome let's go ahead and take a look at a uh, file explorer window and why not just open up CMD. Now if you hold down your Windows key and press the arrow keys like up you'll get full screen down um, back down to a windowed mode if you hit down again it's gonna minimize it. If we go up bring it back up again. If we go left, it'll snap it to the left part of our screen. Right, it should snap it to the right part of our screen. However, it's uh, just doing the upper quarter. Uh, typically, you can do up and to the left or left and up to get it in the top left or right and up to get it into the top right. Sometimes it doesn't do what you want to do, but this is just a quick way to kind of organize your windows. Let's go ahead and open another file explorer, see if we can get that in the bottom right there. Yep, we did that just by hitting left and down. And most of the time it automatically uh, just lets you select what you want somewhere else. So let's go ahead and open another command prompt, try to get that in the bottom right. Boom, there we go. Now we have four windows snapped on our screen. And this is especially useful for multiple monitors because it doesn't 
only work with one. If you keep hitting right or keep hitting left, it'll actually take it across your multiple monitors. So that's just kind of a cool shortcut. Uh, I use that a lot at work to put them, to put a lot of my spreadsheets on different monitors and have them actually snap so I can see all of my windows. Now here's a uh, file explorer specific one, uh, control shift N if you want to make a new folder and then you can automatically name it whatever you want. So we'll, we'll do toasty folder and then if we hit enter and go into that we can also use another shortcut uh, shift F10 to bring up our file menu and if we do if we just type in W and T on the keyboard we can create a text document. This was something that I used to do all the time in my old job where we didn't really have a way to automate um, a filing system so I did a lot of it by hand. So I would just control shift in, make a new folder, circuit ID 1, go in there, shift F10, WT, circuit details, enter, and then open up my text document without having to uh, move my hand off the keyboard. And once I'm done there, Control S to save and Alt F4 to close. Now another one, say I want to uh, launch Task Manager. I could do the uh, whole Control Alt Delete, Task Manager, and then I get it, or go to Start Menu, Task Manager, open it up that way, or I could do Control Shift Escape on my keyboard. And kind of going along with that, um, if you've ever heard of Quick Assist before, it is a remote desktop application kind of for remote support or taking control of somebody else's computer or having somebody else take control of your computer. Usually you would go to start, type in quick and go to quick assist. But if you just want to launch it, um, just hold down the Windows key, control and Q and it'll automatically launch quick assist. So that is something that I use uh, very often, especially if I'm trying to give somebody computer support instead of telling them to click on start start typing they're gonna ask well where do I type there's nowhere to type because they don't really know that if you just start typing it puts it in the bar you can just tell them to uh, hold those three buttons which can sometimes be easier and coming up on our last shortcut this one is a low ball especially for anybody who works in a corporate environment and that is Windows plus L and what that does is just quickly lock our computer take us back to the login screen we are still technically logged into the computer, but we have to put in our password or log back in the next time we want to use it. So this is something that I use anytime I walk away from my desk, just quickly Windows plus L and then walk away and nobody else is going to be able to just hop on in front of my computer and start changing stuff. Now, the last shortcut I'm going to show you has to do with the login screen. So say we're going to hit enter and type in our password. Now, say we don't really know what we typed in, there is this little uh, icon here that we can click. Um, I actually don't remember seeing that before, but if we want to see our password as we're typing it in, Alt plus F8 will show it to us. And that is all for this quick video. Uh, hopefully you learned something, hopefully you like this uh, format of a video not quite being long form tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Maybe you guys can discuss some of your most used shortcuts. But as always, happy networking.